Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're using the Freightliner Cascadia and we are hauling a school bus today. I've never hauled a school bus before, so we're going to do that today. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Big shout out to all you subscribers, all you sponsors, and every single one of you watching. We are almost 9,000 subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We come out with content almost every single day. And I uh, really appreciate you all coming by. Cluck's in the house. Appreciate you coming by. And uh, what's up, Darius? Appreciate you coming by, man. We are about to get out here. And uh, let's go ahead and fire this baby up. So we are coming out of Idaho. And we're heading all the way to Washington with the school bus. A uh, company just bought the school bus from a company in Idaho. So we're going to transport it over there for them. And uh, let's go ahead and get out here. We got Sandra in here. Mitchell Franklin. Troc 9. Big shout out to Troc 9. Appreciate you coming by. And uh, let's go ahead and get out here. Steve in the house. No problem, Steve. I try to post as much as possible. I actually went uh, tubing today. So I'm kind of wor worn out. But we had fun doing that today and uh, spending some time with the family. Uh, but now I'm going to get in here and spend some time with this YouTube family. Because you guys are amazing. Uh, so let you guys check the truck out. I got a different livery on it, which looks amazing. We got some flags on it. I actually can't put oversized load on the... Because it doesn't allow me to put it on the truck. Uh, which I wish I could have. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and head out of here. We'll let you guys see the school bus. I'll go ahead and back out right here. So you guys see the school bus right there. And let you guys see that. And we are going to go ahead and get on the road. So we are going to head out of Washington, or Idaho, sorry, and we're going to head into Washington. So we're almost at the very top of Idaho right now. Um, and we should be in Washington in no time, to be honest. So we'll go ahead and make a right out of here until we are free to go. There's a school bus. All right. All right. So the bus is turning left. So we are going to go ahead and bust a right. I actually had to pull over in this lot and get some uh, rest because it was nighttime when I actually started this. So uh, I didn't want to do any driving at nighttime because it's kind of boring. So I wanted to do it during the daytime. Uh, so who knows? I might be late delivering this load, but oh well. It's all fun. All right, so let's go ahead and make a right right here. I'll follow my GPS. And I've never hauled a school bus, which is crazy. So there's these new trailers um, that I just got off of Steam. Uh, so you guys can go to Steam and get these new trailers. And you can actually haul harvesters. Um, you can haul a lot of stuff with this, like trash trucks. Um, so I, I'm glad I got it off of Steam today. I was just checking through Steam. I was trying to find a good trailer livery to use. But um, this one works pretty well for me. The GTA Sheriff, shout out to you. Appreciate you coming by. Looks small. It's probably a short bus. <laughs> it's not that small. It's a decent sized school bus right there. You can actually haul excavators, all kinds of stuff now. So we're going to be doing different loads um, here and there. So, depending on how long this load takes right here, and if you guys enjoy it and smash that like button, I'll probably take another load. Big Dog Gamer in the house, how you doing, man? For gaming content? That's awesome, man. Tennessee Palms, shout out to you, man. Thanks for coming by and watching. So let me know how your guys' day went in chat. I am like burnt. The sun burnt me up today while I was tubing. We did three miles um, down a river and uh, tubing. So it took us it took us almost two and a half hours to do it. And um, I'll tell you this much. The sun burnt me up today. My legs are hurting. But it was all, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'll tell you that much. Ain't nothing like being out on the water all day. Is that the school bus you're going to ride to school? I don't know, man. It's a decent sized school bus, I'll tell you that much.
definitely my first time hauling a school bus. When I saw that, I was like, I'm definitely hauling that. That would be awesome to transport a school bus. So the speed limit is 65. We are doing about 65 right now. Go ahead and put cruise control on. All right, we got to stop at this way station. Let me hop in this right lane. I wonder how much this school bus weighs. I wonder how much our load's going to weigh. I bet you this is a good 80,000 pounds. How much you guys think this is going to weigh? I bet you it's a good 80,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and pull up on the scale. Forty-six thousand pounds. That was way off. I figured with my truck, the trailer, and the uh, school bus, this would be a pretty heavy load. All right, let's let Kenworth pass us. Why don't people just drive the bus uh, to put less miles on it? You know what I mean? So a company bought it, whether it's a smaller school or what it is, or Maybe it's like uh, the place that I went to today. They uh, they bought a school bus to transport us uh, like five miles up the road or something something like that. I'm not too sure. It had to have been three miles because we only did three miles tubing. Um, but they used the school bus to transport us up the road to drop us off at a certain spot so we could tube back to the uh, actual um, place that we went to. And so, like companies do that. They buy the school bus to... Uh, used for their company or it could be a smaller school or something usually uh schools since they're paid by uh our taxes get new school buses but a lot of companies like churches churches will buy it i'll tell you this much i saw a lot of amish people today like the place that we went to there was like a big like tour bus i mean a big old bus that showed up with like i'd say there was about 50 amish people which is kind of weird Except his is the metallic red. That's awesome, man. I like this truck. It's pretty nice. I actually saw uh, two. We had to stop at a truck stop today. And I saw two Mack trucks. One green, one uh, red today. And they were parked right next to each other. Two different companies. I wanted to take a picture, but I didn't have my phone on me. But they were. Uh, they, they looked awesome. Cameron Murphy in the house. How you doing, brother? Yeah, so it, it can it stops them from putting all these miles on it. So they'd rather pay a company to uh, transport it for them so they don't put more miles on the uh, school bus. So right now there's no miles going on the odometer for the school bus. So it don't have to do with... Because, uh, I mean, certain vehicles will only run a certain amount of miles. Like the State Highway Patrol that come to our shop, they... they end up selling their chargers at like 150,000 miles so some companies don't want that many miles on their uh, vehicles so instead of putting the miles on to travel across different states what they'll do is they will um, have transport companies transport them across state lines which makes it where the miles don't get on there you don't have wear and tear on the engine and uh, the risk of possibly getting erect or anything like that. I mean, it could still get wrecked while it's sitting on our trailer. And something happens, maybe uh, it flips or something like that. But um, that's through our company. So, like, say I wrecked this right now. That would be through my insurance and they wouldn't have to worry about it. So, there's a lot of perks that come with them transporting it through a company um, across state lines. And not to mention the gas. Because semis can uh, get up and go. School buses are not that fast. They're not meant to go fast, you know what I mean? Play as a sheriff deputy on PS4. So I know there's uh, servers. Like, people have certain, like, uh, like lobbies that you go into and they role play as cops. You just have to find them on um, YouTube. I've never done it, but I've heard of it. Actually, uh, I've heard of people doing it on Xbox and stuff. 
but there's lobbies where people role play as cops and they'll invite you into their lobby and basically it's just like how i play 5m but it's without mods it's with all the default vehicles crew games how you doing he thought the title said driving a school bus that would be crazy there's actually buses that you could get for this uh game but they're not they're not like uh united states buses they're like uh like this bus we're about to come up on they're like weird european buses it's crazy how like you go to different countries and all the different vehicles they have like russia has the weirdest looking vehicles like look at this weird tour, tour bus our tour buses are like the greyhounds and like this bus we're about to come up on you'll see it here in a second so we're about to come up on a bus right now and that's what the like buses look like in the united states the bus we just passed is like a european bus it's kind of weird russia has the weirdest looking vehicles i'll tell you that much just looking at their vehicles like their police vehicles uh, uh, no i wouldn't want to be a police officer well this is what our buses look like you know what i mean them are like them are our tour buses like greyhound um so the bus that i seen today was just like this but it was all white and it had 50 Amish people on it. And if you guys don't know what Amish people are, they are... Everybody should know what Amish people are. Amish people do not use electric and they have their own religion and beliefs. Like they, they, they're, 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 they're I don't even know how to say it. They're like, they, they stick to themselves. I, I'm pretty sure they see us as the devil. I'm pretty sure. Like, when Amish people see us, they see us as, like, people that, like, me playing a game right now is, like, the work of the devil to them or something. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Live without electric? Like, the main thing that I need is, oh, someone got pulled over. The main thing that I need for electric is my AC. I love my AC. Without my AC, life wouldn't be the same. I love AC. Deontay Williams in the house. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, play a play a state police. Uh, yeah, I'll try to do state police tomorrow, Steve. It's the Coca Cola. I need to do another Coca Cola uh, transport. That'd be a lot of fun. Got some road construction going on up here. Got the school bus, y'all. That's pretty cool, though. Like, wait until you see the stuff that we can actually put on these trailers. Because it comes with, like, five different trailers. And uh, you can haul different stuff with them. Harvesters, um, trash trucks. You can haul, like, the rollers that um, are used to uh, flatten out the road when they put new asphalt down. Uh, stuff like that. And, um, yeah. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff that we can use with this trailer. So I'm going to be hauling a lot of different weird stuff here in the near future. Instead of us just hauling um, enclosed trailers, we're going to be hauling stuff that we actually see. Oh my god, look at this beautiful view over here. Got the mountains in the background. I'm not too sure if we crossed into Washington yet. I believe we have. Let me stop off at this rest dot. We're going to stop right here. Let's look at this beautiful view. Oh my god, look at that. We got the bridge over there. Look at this beautiful view. We got an ice cream truck right here. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. That is definitely a beautiful scenic uh area right there anybody want some ice cream what's up delta eclipse first it's coming by i'm not gonna take a photo can't really get a good photo because it's all blurry in the black background since uh the mountains are so far away i just want to stop and let you guys see that and we'll try to pull back out here before a car comes just straight ran that stop sign. America. 
Merka. And let's go ahead and continue on. Looks like we're going over this awesome bridge over here. I, mean, I don't know what's so awesome about it, but it looks pretty cool. Got shout out to our sponsor, Delta Eclipse in the house. Let's get some sponsor hype up in here. Big shout out to Delta Eclipse. Thank you for coming by, brother. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. You guys go over there and check his channel out. Subscribe to him. Comes He puts out awesome content. And he's an awesome person. <laughs> yeah, Delta Eclipse. <laughs> the last stream that we did for American Truck Simulator, if you guys watched till the end, we went head on with another semi. Um, just having fun. And we totaled out our, our Mac Anthem. And I, I actually tried to fix it today uh, before I started this stream. And guess how much it's going to cost to fix it? $70,000 to fix our Mac Anthem. $70,000. I just put it in the garage. I'm like, I'm not paying that. I got to get my money together. But look at this tour bus right here. I don't even know why they put these in the game because they're unlegit. You know what I mean? You don't see these type of tour buses in uh, America. I've never seen one this ugly. That thing is ugly. It's called Central Lines. Yeah, this is like a European bus right there. Look at it. That thing is ugly. You think it's 100? Yeah, it was $70,000 to fix my Mac Anthem. I just put it in the garage. I was like, nope, not doing it. Because I only have like $111,000 right now. I've been spending all my money on buying all kinds of garages and trucks. And really, that's all I do. I truck just to buy a new truck. And what well, we transport all these loads just to buy new trucks and new garages. Then sometimes I need to sell my trucks so I can afford to put liveries on stuff. As you guys know, like every single stream, if you look at every single stream that I've done for ATS, it's always a different truck. And if it's, it, it, well, back to back, it's definitely going to be a different truck. But if we use the truck over again on like three streams later, I change the livery up like this uh, Cascadia, which this was just up uh, updated on, or not, on Mod Hub. So it was just updated on Mod Hub, so I wanted to get it in here. And I know a lot of people like this truck. And this truck is this is probably one of the trucks that is getting um, used a lot by a lot of companies in real life. The Cascadia is like taking over right now. And it's a good looking truck. I won't lie there. It is definitely a good looking truck. And my dog don't shut the hell up. Always barking at shit. We don't have to stop at this way. I can't believe we only weigh 46,000 pounds with a school bus on the back. That's crazy. That is crazy right there. I love the livery on this truck. It is sexy. Savage, how you doing, man? Appreciate you coming by. You just bought a truck. Nice. What kind of truck you get, truck nine? California Highway Patrol? I just did California Highway Patrol. We'll probably switch up to a different state this time. I might do an Oklahoma Highway Patrol or, um, I don't know, I might do a different Highway Patrol. Because we just did a, a, a California Highway Patrol. We'll go back to California Highway Patrol again here soon. All right, there's a helicopter up here, so someone must get must have got busted. And of course, they're gonna cut right in front of me. Oh, Mustang busted! What you going to jail? It was a Mack truck. You have a golden retriever. Yeah, my dog likes barking at everything. Like anything and everything. And I feel like when I start streaming, he does it the most. I think he knows I'm in here because I close my door. And I think he gets mad at me because um, usually he stays in here with me with my AC. 
and I make him leave the room when I start streaming so you guys don't hear him bark like while he's in my room but I think he gets mad at me about it so he's just in there running his mouth like let me back in the room no oh, that's beautiful scenery I feel like we went through here last time well look at that waterfall over there I pay attention to the damn road <laughs> the other Mustang set the other Mustang driver up. That's funny. Uh, Kansas? I might do Kansas. I've done Kansas before. Yeah, I might do Kansas. That'd be awesome. I kind of want to do Oklahoma next. Because um, I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So we might do Oklahoma next. And uh, once we're done with Oklahoma, we'll go ahead and uh, try another state. I think the last stream that we did was what? Uh, Blaine County Sheriff? And we did that in Polito Bay? That was fun. Because we used the old school Crown Vic. I actually got a pack that is an older pack. And we had a lot of fun with that. We used the old school Crown Vic. And then we uh, switched over to the Dodge Charger. And at the end of the patrol, we switch over to a Tahoe. I try to switch through all the vehicles, like the pack that I'm using uh, while I stream. So you guys can see different vehicles while we patrol. Which Ellis Pity Far just came out with an update. So um, I'm going to have to go through all that and try to make it where I don't mess up all my mods. There we go. There we go. Look at this beautiful view. Good old trucking. Yep, another update. So I'm gonna have to check into that. Um, LSPFR's page is being weird today too. Cause usually every day I go in there and see what new vehicles are in there. And today, I don't know, it has like a ad ads popping up a lot more all right which way does it want me to go I think it wants me to stay on uh, interstate 5 so yeah it wants me to stay to the left perfect all right so we're heading towards Portland so we're definitely in Washington we're about to actually drop this load off we only been going for 22 minutes so we're had to take another load guys so you guys want to see me take another load and I, it's not going to be the school bus it'll be def something different um definitely smash the like button If you use Highway Patrol Officer as a Sheriff Deputy, yeah, someone will call you out on it. Yeah, stay well. Believe me, I get... When I first started, I used to get caught out on all kinds of stuff. Some people are just hateful, man. Like, some people do not want to see you um, succeed. They, Some people are just like that. Me, I don't care if... I don't care if I showed up to your video and I didn't like your video. I would never dislike someone's video. At all. Unless it's racist or it's uh, sexist or it's something like that. But I would never... I, I don't dislike people's videos. Oh, look at this. When I turn my turn signal on, it turns the bus's turn signal on. Isn't that dope? What if I turn my hazards on if it'll do it? Oh, it does. Look at that. That's dope. I didn't even know it would do that. Let me find out where I'm supposed to go. All right, to the left. To the left, to the left. All right, we're at the port. Let's go ahead and pull through here. We'll go ahead and get this baby dropped off. I'm probably going to be late because I, I, I actually stopped off and got some sleep. 
um, just to make it daylight when, before we started this stream. Because I don't like hauling at nighttime. It just sucks. Can't really see. Uh, can't see what's ahead of you unless you turn the brights on. And also, it is. Um, it's you don't really get to see much. Dylan Garrison in the house. Shout out to our sponsor, Dylan Garrison. Big shout out to our sponsor. A Delta Eclipse and Dylan Garrison in here. I'm not even gonna do it because it's a bigger trailer. Uh, so we are late. Current job offers. All right, what do you guys want to take? We got another school bus. We can take a street sweeper. We could take a tractor. Or we can take a trash truck. No, we're not taking the trash truck. That's too far. I don't want that. That's way too far. We're going to take the street sweeper back over to um, Idaho. So we'll head back over to Idaho. They want this in Boise, Idaho. We got a tractor. You cut trees yesterday, two loads? I might take the tractor. You guys want to take the tractor? It's either that or the street sweeper. You guys let me know. Extreme Gamers, how you doing? Of course I remember you, man. Thanks for coming by and watching. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. All right, I'll check it out, Delta. All right, we'll take the tractor. Instead of taking the same route that we just took. We'll take the tractor um, just because we're going to take a different route. So we'll take this uh, weird looking tractor. I wish it was a John Deere. If it ain't green, it ain't the right machine. You know what I mean? So we're going to take this weird looking tractor. Oh, look at that. Look at that Volvo right there. That thing looks sexy. All blacked out. We got a tank right here. I got that uh, mod in for military stuff. Which way are we supposed to go? I guess I'll head back out this way. I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's America. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, well. I have to deal with it. All right, so we just dropped off the school bus, and we are about to uh, get this tractor over to. It's somewhere in Washington. I don't believe it's too far either. 291 miles. I don't even know what kind of tractor this would be. Blue and red. If those are red. I believe it was Case. A blue and red that's I don't know what brand that is AJ what's up man long time no see appreciate you coming by so we just dropped off the school bus and now we're hauling a tractor just because we got the school bus uh, there pretty fast so let me hop in this left lane and we'll be heading over towards Vancouver as a Vancouver and we are back on the road on the road again yeah I need to play I, I'm probably gonna play FS 19 and we'll probably do some logging also I might have to find me a new logging map I might actually play FS 19 and do some mining too that would be fun we did mining before I just lost the whole entire map because my uh, files got corrupted. Which pissed me off. Try to damage my ass. I didn't even touch nothing. Alright, so we are going to get this tractor. All the way somewhere in Washington. I'm not too sure what part of Washington. But it's uh, 200 miles away from Seattle. So we'll find out where it goes. Is that a UFO in the sky? What the hell is that? 
I see the helicopter, but there was something else up there. Look at how low this helicopter to the right is flying. What is he doing? Is he landing at a hospital? What is he doing? Oh, it wasn't a UFO, it was a freaking bird. The hell? Uh, Delta Eclipse, yeah, I'll probably be playing 5N. I just wanted to get in here and do some American Truck Simulator. Because I haven't done it in, what, a few days. So I wanted to get in here and do some American Truck Simulator. And then here, after a while, we'll be streaming again. Playing some 5M if everybody wants to get on. If not, I will play LSPDFR. Either way, we will be streaming again tonight. Even though I am wore the hell out from tubing a day. Like, holy crap. It it took two and a half hours, three hours to do three miles on a tube. Um, the water was kind of low for us because it hasn't been raining too much. Um, so some spots we had to get out of the tube and actually uh, walk on foot to get to the other side. Um, but, I mean, we still had a lot of fun. And I am burnt up. Like, my skin is red. Like, red, red. And it's worse, like, when you get, like, actually get out of the water and get home and take a shower. Um, actually seeing how red I was, and it, it was it was pretty bad. It still is bad. But yeah, I don't even want to put pants on because it's going to rub against my skin and hurt me. I know I'm a big old cry baby. How the hell do I keep getting trailer damage? I'm not even touching nothing. A 25 pound bike with military pants yeah Delta that's that's a that's a hell of a ride right there but with the bike you can actually do it quicker we were in the water and I mean when the current's not there you got to paddle with your hands and it I'll tell you this much it wore me the hell out because we really didn't have much of a current most of the time I was paddling with my hand to try to avoid uh, branches because I got bad luck. I don't know if you guys know this, but I got bad luck. I thought a branch was going to go right through my tube as soon as I started. Why am I... Why is this giving me trailer damage? I am not touching anything. I think this trailer is kind of glitched. So yeah, I, I, I thought as soon as I was going to get in the water because... The two place told us, they said, stay to the right. Because if you go to the left, you're going to hit a bunch of, like, trees that are in the water. And, like, when we first got in, the current tried to push me over to the left. And uh, I avoided it, but my sister went right into the tree. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Uh, she went right into the tree. <laughs> I told her to paddle, too, and she didn't listen to me. It was so funny. There was a lot of people out today. So we were originally trying to go out there and go kayaking. But there were so many people. And we were out at Hocking Hills. So if you guys are from Ohio, um, Hocking Hills, everybody really knows. It has Old Man's Cave. It's a historic place. It's National Forest and everything. Um, so we tried to go out there. We went to two different places. Well, three different places. We went to two places to try to find a kayak. Um, they had nothing but canoes. And... Uh, well, one place wasn't even taking walk-ins. And the other place... Um, the other place... Oh, it's beautiful out here. That's the kind of river that we were in today. Like, look down there. That's the kind of stuff we were looking at today. Um, but um, the two places that we went to didn't have no kayaks. The third place that we went to um, only had tubes. So we ended up getting tubes and went three miles. And I'll tell you, it was, it was definitely worth it. 20 bucks per tube. I paid for me, my brother, and my sister, and we had a lot of fun. Definitely had a lot of fun. Which my sister, she lives like almost, she lives like almost on the West Virginia border. So we had to go all the way out there to get her, pick her up, then go tube, and then take her all the way back home. 
Just spending some time with the family. You guys all need to do that. Always spend time with your family. Don't always be cooped up in the house. It feels good to get out and actually do stuff. I mean, it could only take a little bit of money. Like like Delta Eclipse. You could easily just take your bike and go out riding with friends or family member or your brother, your sister, whatever. And just go out and do something. Enjoy life itself. God didn't put us here just to be stuck in houses and stuck on our cell phones. He actually put us here to have fun and enjoy life. Which I enjoyed too in a day. I enjoyed spending time with my family and... Now I'm on here on YouTube with my YouTube family. You guys. We are having fun. Look at this beautiful scenery. I love looking at stuff. Oh, and there goes a highway patrol. I've seen a lot of cops today in real life. I've seen uh, a couple canine um, uh, sheriffs. And a lot of state highway patrol. A lot of state highway patrol. Look at this scenery. Look at the mountains. It's beautiful. I wish we could get a map like this in um, Farming Simulator. You know how nice that would be? With like an actual highway right next to it and we could do some logging right next to the highway. That would be awesome. I actually have a highway where I can mow grass. Because I know we've all seen that. Like the, the city workers or... The state workers that mow the side of the highway. Oh, look. We got mountains up there that have snow on them. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. I'm trying to look at chat. Yeah, I have a, uh, a tutorial on plugins. Be careful. LSPD4 did an update. So it could, uh, it could affect all your mods. Like every single one of them. So you got to be careful. Do not update yet. I am not updating my LSP to farm until everything is fixed. I never do. That's why it's always good to back up your game. It right, looks like we're going on a two lane road. Right, let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. So we already got the school bus to its location. Now we're... We're going to get this tractor where it belongs. Randy, shout out to you, man. Yeah, the mountains are beautiful. We're in Washington right now. We started all the way in Idaho hauling a school bus. Um, went all the way to Washington, Seattle, Washington. Dropped the school bus off, and it only took us 20 minutes. So um, I was like, might as well just uh, take another load. Uh, so now we got this tractor right here. We are just getting this tractor um, somewhere in Washington. Let me stay in my lane. We're in this tractor somewhere over here in Washington. I'm not too sure where we're going. You spend time with your grandpa. That's always good, man. Oh, yeah. We got 19 likes. You guys are awesome. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you all for smashing that like button. Really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. God bless you all. Every single one of you. So, like this little river over here to the right? That's what we were on. Probably not that strong of a current, though. We had scenery like this, though. It's beautiful out there in Hawking Hills. Why is there an ambulance here? Oh, that. Oh, oh, hold on. You guys gotta see this. Did you guys see that? How do you hit this? How do you hit this? Oh, that's a beautiful pick. Oh my God! How do you do this? Look, the fire, the fire guy and the troopers. Like, how, how the hell did this happen? And why the hell is this even here? Like. This right here is in the middle of nowhere. Did it fall off a semi? Look at this. It's an Audi, too. Is the guy still in it? No, he's in the ambulance. Let me see if I can see inside the ambulance. Hello? Anybody there? Look at the firefighter. He has his hands behind his back. 
He's like, um, I don't know how this happened. I don't even know why that's sitting there. All right, let's get back to trucking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. Oh, I got to take a picture of that. Hold on, let's get him where he's... Let's get him where he has his hand up. Damn it. Damn it. Let me see if I can get him with his hand up. I'm trying to get this motorcycle rider with his hands up. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know, Delta. <laughs> I stay trippers like, what the hell? Drunk drivers. That's all I can say. What's the sign say? How far are we away? Oh, we still got like 100 miles to go. Not bad. Because <laughs> his pants are down. I was trying to get him with his hand up in there because he keeps waving on traffic. But I couldn't get the picture. And I want to get back on the road so we get this load dropped off. So I could get into 5M and stream. If I don't stream 5M tonight and I don't get on, it's probably because I'm making a video as Civ. Because I don't like streaming as Civ. I know Brant does it, but I don't like doing it. Because I like um, getting my roleplay uh, the way I like it. And sometimes it doesn't go always go my way. Like, sometimes uh, I play as Civ and get shot up in the first five minutes. And me setting up my Civ takes a while, too. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit there and watch me for ten minutes setting up my uh, Civ and my vehicle and all that. So that's why I never stream as Civ. Brant does, a.k.a. Rolls. He, uh, he streams as Civ. I just don't like it. I like editing my videos. Because the last one that we did was the police impersonator. And uh, that was fun. You know how many... We shot like... Uh, what? Two LEOs and um, one uh, guy that called me... Uh, he called me the B word. I was like, excuse me? I shot him right in his face. He says, stop speeding. Yeah, I shot him right in his face. Now, how dare you call me the B-word? I was about to let him out and help him. <laughs> yeah, Dylan Garrison. That's exactly what he called me. I was like, are you still alive? He said, you shot me, bitch. I was like, what'd you call me? I just let, him, let loose on him. And how dare you call me that? I mean, I already shot him prior to that. I was trying to shoot the cop, but um, I ended up striking him as the cop was driving away. That was a funny uh, video. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely watch that. That was one of my uh, most recent videos that I just uploaded. Which I don't like running a Civ like that, because I, I definitely don't like doing that to LEOs, because I love running as LEO. Um, but, I mean, sometimes when I do do that, I just get crazy. And I had no choice but to let them have it. Your older sister used to drive for Swift? I had, Swift has a bad name, man. I don't know if your sister is one of them bad drivers, but if you look on YouTube, I think every single trucker makes fun of Swift drivers. Like, there's this one trucker that I was watching, and he saw a Swift driver pulling in the parking lot, and he started dogging that uh, semi-driver. And he was correct about them. Because as soon as they pulled on the lot, they were, uh, they were, <laughs> let's just say they, they, uh, don't know how to back up and, uh, they end up crashing into a truck, which I believe was the dude's truck that was dogging the Swift driver. As soon as the Swift driver showed up, he was like, oh God, here comes the Swift driver. Move your trucks. It was funny. Did that sign just say Orando? 
trying to be all like Orlando? I've never been here. All right, we're taking the uh, two east. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like karma. Yeah, Swift drivers have a bad name. Like they, every single time, you guys got to watch it on YouTube. Just type in Swift driver on YouTube. Like every video that pops up is them crashing or causing a crash or something like that. It'll take you. I couldn't do this as a real job. Being cooped in a vehicle all day is just, that would drive me crazy. And it, not to mention it would destroy your back. Like I can understand doing local driving, like within your state, but to do this out of state and be driving 12 to 14 hours a day, I'm not doing it. It's just not gonna happen. It takes 14 hours to get from Ohio to Florida. So just imagine that guys, you drive and, because these truck drivers cannot stop. If they stop, they're losing money. So these truck drivers are driving all the way through it. Some of them have piss bottles in their truck. So if they gotta take a piss, they'll piss right in that bottle and still continue on. How am I? My trailer is not even close to the guardrail. But yeah, that's that's uh, you know how crazy that is. So to go from where I am to the top of Florida, not the bottom of Florida, to the top by Orlando, it is uh, 14 hours, a 14-hour drive. So could you guys imagine doing that every single day? It is horrible. Me and my brother rode a motorcycle all the way back from Florida to Ohio. It was crazy. Every 300, 400 miles, like when the gas tank was empty um, and we had to fill up, we would switch. So we took turns riding it. Because my brother moved to Florida, took his bike with him, and then decided to move back to Ohio. And when he got back to Ohio, um, he had to get his bike back. But to have it shipped to him was just too much money. And to rent a U-Haul to go all the way across state lines uh, was too much money. So we just did it as a team. And I'll tell you this much. Um, my back never hurt so much in my life. And it wasn't no uh, cruiser or anything like that. It was a crotch rocket. Suzuki one, uh, Jixxer 1000. Me personally, I have a Jixxer 600 right now. This is my baby. But riding from Florida all the way to Ohio was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Columbus Airport, yeah. So I went to Columbus Airport. Um, I landed into, because um, I, I lived in Florida for two years, two to three years. Um, so my first time going there, um, I went to Columbus International Airport. We went from there and flew all the way to um, Atlanta in Georgia. Uh, landed at Atlanta. I was so confused about it because they were telling me because when I got off my plane, I had to exit that terminal and head to another terminal. And they told me to take the subway. And I'm from Ohio. We don't have subways. I'm like, what, what do you mean a subway? Like, I, I don't really want no subs. I'm not hungry. And they were talking about the subway. Like, under the ground subway so I had to take that to the other terminal I was close to missing my flight um, Atlanta Airport is horrible uh, driving through Atlanta is horrible I me personally I just don't like Atlanta just because of the traffic and the airport I mean I've never actually been in the city uh, besides driving through it and uh, on the freeway but um my experience with Atlanta, Georgia is just horrible. But yeah, it was, uh, so I landed in Atlanta, uh, flew from Atlanta over to Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, once I got at Fort Myers, Florida, my stepmom picked me up and she drove me all the way to Naples, Florida. And I lived in Naples, Florida for about three years. Yeah, Atlanta is just horrible, man. You should see Columbus International Airport right now. They have, uh... They have about seven to eight Delta airplanes just on the side, like not being used because of this uh, pandemic that's going on. Oh, I just discovered a new town. And then we got the Home Depot trailer in front of us. 
come to Australia and live in the desert. I'm good. I know Australia has desert, but a lot of uh, Australia is beautiful. I would love to go to Australia and go to Bondi Beach. Beautiful there. I know you know about that, AJ. We were talking about that in Discord. I love Bondi Beach. It's so beautiful. I like watching their Bondi Rescue. All that stuff. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool view right here, too. Looks like we're actually going over the dam. Nope, I guess not. I wonder if I could drive over that. No, they got it all blocked off. That'd be pretty cool though. It's starting to get dark out too. Turn my lights on. <laughs> Good, Deontay. I can't wait till you join, man. So we got the dam over there. It looks like they're uh, releasing some water, too, right now. And we are about to be dropping our tractor off. So we already hauled the school bus, and now we have a tractor. And this Cascadia is a beast. Uh, how much fuel do I have? Oh, I'm close to empty. Oh, I'm glad I checked that. Beautiful scenery. trying to arrest you you don't want me trying to arrest you I'll get you I will get you I don't play around when I'm law enforcement I get everyone all right why the hell do they need a tractor on a construction site kind of shit I'm not gonna ask questions as long as they pay me my money it's my money and I need it now So we made $18,000 off of that. Definitely enjoying uh, Truck 9. You'll love it. You will love it. Let's go and drive through here. I wish I could afford a new house. Look at these beautiful houses. I mean, they're not built, but you know how awesome it would be to buy yourself a new house? And actually have it paid off. Like, this is the type of stuff I want to do. Like drive up to my new house and watch it get built. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool right there. I'm going to pull forward right here. Well, guys, we have been going for 53 minutes. We hauled a school bus and we hauled a tractor, um, transporting them one from Idaho to Washington and the tractor from Seattle, Washington to whatever the hell town I'm in right now. Um, so we had a lot of fun with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see me a stream again tonight, make sure you guys smash that like button because I will be streaming again tonight very soon. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Big shout out to all of our sponsors, Icy's Clez, Vehicle Ranks, James. We got LSPDFR Trooper 923, Elephant, Alayham, Delta Eclipse, Dylan Garrison. Every single one of you that sponsor the channel, thank you guys so, so much. Um, also, if you guys want to check out our merch, so we have new masks that I just made. Uh, we got the American flag. We have a mask with flames and skulls. We have a gaming for life mask. We have a mask that says you piece of with a shit emoji. Um, because you guys know I like saying you piece of shit on LSP to far every time I'm chasing a suspect. So we also have shirts for that. I actually have a lot of merch on my, um, on my site. So you guys can find that in discord. If you guys want to get some merch, um, I'm trying to get the pr prices lowered for all of you. Um, 
because I, the site that I use, they actually charge a lot. Um, it's just like $20 for a shirt. Um, the mask are like $10, something like that. Um, so, I mean, that company itself is trying to make the money. I don't make much profit off of it because I try to lower it as much as possible. Um, but if you guys want to check that out, definitely check the merch out. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. And, um, yeah, the, the link to um, that will be in my Discord for the merch. I can show you guys it real fast. Um, but hopefully you guys are having a great night. Hopefully you guys had a great night. Um, I know it's 9.57 p.m. for me right now. Um, so we will try to... I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing anybody on MCRP right now. So I will try to... If no one gets on tonight, I will make sure that I do an LS Video Far Patrol. Uh, let me go over here. And we will go ahead and put this link right here for you guys so there's a link for you guys uh, if you guys want to check out all of our sponsors channels um, I put every single one of our sponsors links down there in the description you guys can go over there and check out their awesome channels go subscribe to them um, they are awesome uh, if you guys also want to become a sponsor and get these custom uh, emojis and also get shouted out in every single video and get links to your YouTube channel on in the description and on my main channels page um, all you gotta do is, uh, hit that join button right there. You guys get custom emojis. If I get, I think if I get one more, um, sponsor, I will be able to get more, um, emojis, uh, custom emojis to put in for you guys. Um, so that would be awesome. We're just looking for that one more sponsor and, uh, we'll be able to put some more custom emojis in. And, uh, so that'd be awesome. But thank you all for coming by and watching and we'll see you all on the next one, which should be tonight. If not, which it will be, I, I'm not tired at all. Even though I went tubing today, I'm relaxing the AC right now and I'm ready to go. I had an energy drink. I had an energy drink just like two minutes ago. Um, so I'm ready to go. Like I'm amped up right now. <laughs> so we will uh, get that going. Let me give a shout out to every single one of you guys in here. We got Truck 9. We got Mark's Tree Service. Dylan Garrison, shout out to you. Um, Devin Ray, shout out to you. Uh, let's see, Deontay Williams, my brother from another mother. Check Deontay Williams' channel out. Go subscribe to him. This dude's been around my channel for so long. Uh, Ray C. Lee, uh, Jose, shout out to you. Hola. Um, AJ, shout out to AJ. Devin Ray, Delta Eclipse. Every single one of you that stopped by, you guys are amazing. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. We are about to hit 9,000 subscribers. As soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away free games, guys. So all you got to do is tell your friends, your aunt, your your cousin, your second cousin, your third cousin, hell, your fifth cousin to come over and subscribe to this channel. And if we hit 10,000, I'll start giving games away for free. Um, so thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.